Well, you may have noticed last week I was a little nasally, and it's something that allergy sufferers already know. Spring has arrived. And joining us in the Native Sun Kitchen with some natural remedies to help get us through the season is Native Sun owner Aaron Gottlieb. Good to see you again, man. And, it's good uh, to see you. Uh, I talked to you about this, the move. I think it was the dust and obviously moving to closer to a lot more plant material away from the beach and the ocean breeze. But I'm a big proponent and fan of local honey. It works for me. Right. But there's, you have some information about it that it's sometimes a placebo? Well, sometimes, and it really has to know with what you're dealing with. Are you dealing with plant allergies? Are you dealing with ragweed allergies? And also, where's your honey coming from? So an oak tree spewing uh, pollen everywhere into the air, some of it's going to get on the bees, but the kind of immunotherapy concept that people think they're getting from honey, uh, they may not be getting as much of it from that as, as they think. Especially if you're, if you're taking you know, wildflower honey, but you're allergic to oak or you know, palm palm pollen? Absolutely. There's, there's not going to be any effect. Uh, it has right. to do with they have different uh, molecular uh, weight sizes, everything. And so the, how they're going to be adapted to the body is going to be different for each one. Well, that's the one thing I always look at, you know, as far as like where it is, because each honey, it says exactly where it is. And I love the ones that the closer it is to Jacksonville. That's just, correct. It seems to work better for me. Um, what else we got for, well, for allergy? Well, you know, a lot of people who hear about honey, first they have to be careful with honey because if they have allergies to pollen and you're eating raw honey uh, or bee uh, stings, yeah. you could have a reaction. So you do want to talk to your doctor first. Uh, along those same lines, bee pollen, which we have up here, which is local bee pollen, yeah. uh, it's what they feed the younger bees. And as they uh, pack that uh, and make, they, they actually pack it into those little nuggets, um, the studies on bee pollen has shown a much higher effective rate of results. Uh, so you can still deal with a natural substance, but you can throw that into your smoothie or you can just take a granule at a time to see how you react to it as well. So I can just throw this right in my smoothie? Absolutely. Again, if you have allergies, I have to warn you, make sure you check with a doctor to make sure you don't have severe allergies to where you can't treat an allergy with immunotherapy uh, foods. And also start small. I, anytime I'm trying a new type thing like that, just start with a little bit. Absolutely. And then, and then go from there. Um, all right, what else? Uh, natural so what, products? Well, you know, if you go food isn't where I'm coming from, and all the foods we have here have an active chemical in it called quercetin. It's a bioflavonoid. The, the, when you open up an orange and you have that white pith, yeah. uh, those have bioflavonoids in them. Uh, one particular one, quercetin, is known to help uh, reduce inflammation in the sinus membranes and treat allergies, uh, the, the symptoms of allergies. They don't know there's no cure for allergies right now. So the interesting part about it is, is you can get them in all these foods, and that's why I brought them, because eating cleaner foods will help your allergy symptoms. But in addition to it, this quercetin here, which ends up being EMIQ quercetin, had an enzymatic reaction that makes it uptake in your body a lot faster and people are getting better results from that and the studies show if you're going to use quercetin, use an enzymatically active quercetin and so that product has had a higher effectiveness than others. Use an enzymatically active quercetin. Yep. Say that five times. Or you could just look for the product that says EMIQ. <laughs> That's much easier. Not E equals MC squared. That's totally different. Absolutely. EMIQ. Um, and look, this is, we have an old school one right here. Oh, yeah, you we'll put, put out right the there. neti pot for everybody to the see. The neti pot. The so, neti pot and, and, and flushing your sinuses. Absolutely. You asked me if this is uh, old school, and I said it's old and new. Uh, this is actually a device that's recognized by medicine today as, what, as helping a lot for allergies. So it's thousands of years old, and it's the process of cleaning out your sinuses twice a day. You, you make a saline solution out of uh, saline salts uh, and warm distilled water. You pour it in there, and what it does is it thins your mucus. It also rids the uh, mucus membranes of excess pollen wherever it has contact. So it's very effective effective and you can use it with whether you're using allopathic medicine or trying a natural way to treat your allergies. Don't keep this in the in the kitchen necessarily because it might be mistaken for the teapot. Uh, yeah, you just gross me out. And make sure you sanitize the end of yeah. that thing after each use. So all you do, you fill this with the, the, the Epsom, what is this? Well, it's a, a saline, saline salt. Yep. Saline solution salt, warm water, and then put you it up to one nostril? Put it firmly up to one nostril and turn your head. And tilt your head all the way uh, back? No, that'll go wrong. Tilt your head to the side. Okay. <laughs> and it will come, uh, the, the nas nostril that you don't have it pressed up against and it will go into the sink. Uh, and and you'll notice that doing it twice a day, uh, you know, people notice the breathing results almost immediately, but continual use of it, you'll find that it helps for allergy sufferers. Well, because that was one of the other things too, living at the beach, whenever the allergies got bad, you just go jump in the ocean, swim around, get the water up your nose, and it seemed to help as well. Right, absolutely. Yeah, but one thing people don't know is, is there's an easy way to prevent allergies, and it's free. And yeah. it is wearing 
thin long sleeve shirts when it's warm out, wearing a hat and sunglasses, protect yourself from the offending allergens, and then take them off right before you come indoors. Um, also, uh, wet a towel and wash off your dog when they come in because they carry a lot of pollen as well. All great tips. There you go. Appreciate it, Aaron. Good to see you again. It's great to see you. Great food for thought here in the Native Sun Kitchen. We appreciate Native Sun for bringing that to us. And you can visit their locations in Bay Meadows, Mandarin, Jack's Beach to shop for all your natural allergy remedies. And their website is nativesunjacks.com.